Hey guys, we got our hands on an SC300. Today we're gonna to review it, see how it works. See if it can help us get better at golf. Don't go buy one until you watch this video. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm Brian, this is Braxton. If you're new here, do us a favor and hit subscribe if you like golf content. We're trying to give you guys two videos a week, having a little fun along the way. Today we're going to be reviewing this Voice Caddy SD300. This is a portable launch monitor. It comes with an app on your phone that you don't have to use to use this that can help. Braxton, what do you like about the SD300? Um, it tells me exactly how far I hit my clubs every time, my swing speed, my ball speed and it just really helps me to know where I'm at with my yardages. The first time we took this out, let me tell you, with the range finder on the range, with the laser, this thing was dead on. So we've been practicing a little bit today in the garage. It may not be as accurate in the garage as it is at the range, but the thing about it being portable, you can throw this thing in your bag and take it with you, so that's a good thing. Now, let me say this about the app. The app is a great idea because it's going to keep all your information, your data and your stats for you right there in your phone. You can take it out of the course, what's my average with this club, and it tells you. However, here's a problem. We're both using the same device. We both have an app on our individual phones with our own logins. Every time you turn this on and the app on your phone, it syncs to your phone. So it takes anyone's swing that's been done with this and puts it into your phone. So right now, even though we both have different logins on the app, it is syncing all the data from the SC300 to our apps and we both have each other's swings with no way to differentiate between them. So it's averaging out our swings with each individual cup. So I have sent an email into Voice Caddy to find out what's to do with that. That should be an easy fix, hopefully. Obviously your friends are gonna to wanna to try it when you buy this. So then their swings are gonna be in too. I don't know how that's gonna work. Brax, how do you think this is going to help you specifically with your game to get better? I'm not going to have as many guesses anymore because I know exactly how far I hit each club. So it's going to be easier. And Tiger Woods said, if you can hit it pin high, then you can play golf. So hopefully I can play golf better. Nice. This device does do spin rate, which is great. The problem is it doesn't show up on the SD300 device. It only shows up in the stats data information on the app which would be great if it wasn't averaging out mine and Braxton swings together right now. So we actually have no idea how much the ball is spinning with each of our clubs. Another thing about this SC300 is that it comes with this remote. This is cool, especially out on the range or here in the garage. This remote, you can change which club and even the degree your club is, the degree of loft your club is, you can switch that with the remote control because you put this device about six feet behind you. So it's easy, the screen is very bright, looks great even in the sun, you can turn around, you can see all the data, it also speaks out loud. If you've got the phone going, the phone also talks, so you kind of got it in stereo coming at you, um, but that's the remote. So, we're going to hit some shots in here, and then we'll head out to the range. One hundred nine yards. Yards. One hundred seven yards. One hundred two yards. One hundred six yards. 111 yards. All right, so we're out here at Palmer Legends driving range now. Braxton's gonna hit some pitching wedges. We've got the SC300 set up. That way you guys can kind of see and compare between what we were getting in the garage versus what we see here on the range. We're already warmed up. You ready? Yep. We've got a red flag that we're gonna aim at. That red flag is 97 yards away from the mat. He was hitting it just a little over 100 yards in the garage, so if we're carrying it to just past that red flag, that'll tell you that the SC300 is pretty accurate. All right, let's do it. Nine 
97 yards. One hundred four yards. Ninety five yards. One hundred five yards. One hundred four yards. Ninety-eight yards. One hundred five yards. I hit the flag today. <laughs> Great last shot, by the way. He nailed that flag stick in the air. Uh, so you see, right on that SC three hundred was perfect with the yardages with that pitching wedge and also very accurate between the garage and the driving range. So I would say if you're looking for a device that's portable that you can use at the house but also at the range, the SC300 is, is excellent. I really love the app. When you're watching the app as he's hitting these, it's great. It shows you the trajectory of each shot. But again, if you're sharing it, it's not good. So for me and Braxton right now, not, wor not working really great but if it's just you and you're gonna be the only one using it, the app is fantastic. Now I'm gonna hit some drivers, let you see um, if I'm progressing or not, trying to work out my slice, been working on my backswing, trying to stay on plane, coming through on the downswing. And we're gonna use the SC300 to see what the carry distance is on the driver. Two hundred eighteen yards. Two hundred twenty five yards. Two hundred thirty yards. Two hundred twenty seven yards. Oh, that one way left. Two hundred twenty eight yards. Two hundred forty eight yards. That was the longest cave. Two hundred forty eight yards. 252 yards. All right, so much better, way better than a few weeks ago when I started this process trying to work on the driver. Carry distance somewhere between 230 and 240 something. That last one actually went 252, I think. We had the SC300 going the whole time. I swing speed right around 100 miles an hour, ball speed in the 140s. This is a stiff shaft, and I think it might just be time for me to move to a regular shaft. Maybe I can get a little bit more yardage out of those whenever this quarantine stuff is over. Maybe we can get to the PGA Tour Superstore in Orlando and work out the shaft situation. But overall, really happy. The SC300, thumbs up for that. Uh, if you like this stuff, hey, please hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications so you'll know when we release a video. I'm going to keep working to get better. Hopefully I can beat him one of these days. All right, thanks.